Welcome to our 2003 Toyota Tacoma Extra Cab V6 4x4 video. Just gonna fire up the uh, truck here and we'll go for a test drive. It's pretty warm today. It's getting to, uh, to be about 80 degrees, I think. So I'm gonna put on the AC, which blows Perfectly cold, very cold in this car, which is nice. See my crow friends rolling in because I just put out some peanuts for them. This is the Tobin Motor Works mascots there. All right. I'm just gonna go, let's go. So this is actually the, this will be the second Toyota Tacoma that I've sold. And we're gonna take out the touch up paint and the wheel lock. Cause that's making a bunch of noise in there. I'll just put that stuff in my pocket. Anyway, um, this is the second Tacoma, second 03 Tacoma I think I've had on bring a trailer. The first was a completely stock, except for the wheels I guess, a red one with about 22 or 23,000 miles on it. This car currently, right now, has 72,903 miles. This was brought in, uh, sort of selling it as a favor for one of my consignment customers. He's the guy that had the, uh, the five car collection last summer, uh, the Mazda RX-7. Uh, I just sold the Mustang from that collection recently. That, that was a no sale last year. But his Porsche 944 sold and his uh, Eagle Talon and his Chrysler Conquest. Uh, those cars all sold last August of 2023. And just did the Mustang and he brought this one up just built a new house and he's uh, just kind of thinning stuff out, getting rid of some of the cars that he doesn't drive, but he wanted a really nice Tacoma and he found a good car and made the modifications on the outside, really cosmetic modifications as you can see. He put a huge uh, Alpine stereo system in it that he said it cost about $3,000. We'll have the receipts for that one. You can see what it really cost. We had a subwoofer installed right here. It sort of looks like a console in the back. Of course the next owner will just be the beneficiary of that stereo system. Poor guy who installed it for all the money probably won't see any of that in the sale of the car. But that's how it goes. Now, I'm not sure what there is to say about a, uh, an 03 Tacoma with, call it 73,000, just shy of 73,000 miles. It's got these big tires on it. They're 17 inch Toyota wheels. And we can see how big the tires are. I didn't, uh, I don't know exactly how big they are. But I can feel them on the road a little bit. But if you're uh, anticipating a zombie apocalypse or any kind of apocalypse after the election in November, this might be a good car for you. You know, one of the most ridiculous questions <clears throat> I think anybody can ask of a seller selling a used car, no matter who they are, is, you know, will it make it to Boise if I fly out and drive it home? Will it make it to Phoenix if I fly out and drive it home? You know, <laughs> who knows? I always say that old cars are like hand grenades without pins. You just don't want it in your hand when it blows up. But um, as long as you have a credit card with a high limit and some time and a mobile phone, uh, I 
think I'd try just driving just about anything back if I were to fly out and get it. I flew out to uh, Denver one time from Chicago where I lived at the time and I bought an 82 Vanagon, an air-cooled Volkswagen Vanagon Westphalia and drove it back from Greeley, Colorado to Chicago in February. So don't ask me if it's going to make it. I'm going to say yes every time. Or actually, I'll say maybe every time. And, you know, it's an old car and go have an adventure. But this is probably the one uh, Toyota pickup truck like this, V6, 4x4, would be the one that I'd say, yeah, it's going to make it. And I'm, I'm pretty darn sure it's going to make it. I just sold a Jaguar XJS, a 12-cylinder Jag on Bring a Trailer. That gentleman asked me if I thought it would make it from upstate New York, where I am, basically Ithaca, New York, back to Santa Fe. And I said, well, if you've got a good uh, cell phone and a high-limit credit card, you know, why not? And so he flew out and picked up the car and he drove that 12-cylinder Jag XJS all the way back to Santa Fe with absolutely no issue. Made it no problem. So if he can do it, you can certainly do it in this Toyota. You know, we've got cruise control, we have super cold AC, we've got turn signals, power windows, power mirrors. But other than that, you're pretty much looking at uh, early 2000s analog stuff here. Which is pretty refreshing, frankly, compared to all the ridiculous stuff they're putting in new cars. or squeaks or anything from the interior here. No clunking now that I took the, uh, the lug for the locking lug nuts, or the key for the locking lug nuts out of the, out of the uh, glove box. So we'll just do an acceleration. There's the shop right there. about 65 to you know 10 or 15 I'm just gonna swing around there's a really tight turn there's no rubbing on any of the wheels and then we'll just head back down to the shop
timing belt and water pump were done, I think, last year. The receipt is in the photos. I think it was, I think it was 2023 that it was done. Or it was done this spring. It was it just, it hasn't gone 500 miles since the uh, timing belt and water pump were replaced. our other Toyota, the Toba Motor Works shop truck, the 86 Toyota van with 86,000 miles on it. All right, here's our test drive. Thanks for joining.